Hey everyone, welcome back. And let's quickly talk about using API routes in SvelteKit. So this is really easy to do. And I am inside my routes folder, an API folder, a user folder, and then that's where our plus server.ts file is going to live. Now I was trying to keep this purely in JavaScript, but I think just getting some proper autocomplete in this example would be a good idea. So this is how we're going to create an API route. We're going to export a function and then we're just going to name that method in all caps. You know, that's it. It's really, really simple. And so if I wanted to, you know, create a post function, super easy to do post all caps, right? And here we are, that's it. And so we can kind of put all of our methods here and then we're going to be all set. Now, something to really keep in mind, and this is really a requirement when creating an API route, is we have a ton of options here. So you see that we're already using URL. And if you want to invoke autocomplete inside VS Code, you can go ahead and use command space. If you're on Windows, control space. Or if you're already using a uh, command space on Mac, you can use option escape. And so that's what I'm going to use just because I switch in between Spanish and English keyboards and I use command space to toggle those. So I'm using option escape and you're going to see all of these options available to us. So we can kind of pull out cookies. We could use request, um, params. I mean, we have just an absolute ton of options here. Locals, that's a real common one that I use. And so if you need to use any of these, you need to be grabbing some information, you're going to do this right here. That's where that's going to live. Okay. And so this is really simple. And remember, SvelteKit is built on web standards. So we need to be returning a response object. That's really important to keep in mind. Now, we have kind of like a convenience function that we have available here. And so we can just kind of pull out JSON, which is really nice. And we can kind of refactor this to use JSON. So I'm going to return JSON, and then we can just say random. That's the value we're trying to return. So that's kind of a, a way to refactor this. I really like the JSON function and uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Now, with error, you don't have to throw error. That's something really kind of important to consider. But if we're going to be using redirect, which is, you know, a very valid use case inside of an API route, what we can do is we can throw redirect and this is going to take two um, arguments. The first one is going to be a number. It's just going to be, you know, a status code. And so I'm going to say, 302, which is a temporary redirect. Um, I really, really want to, you know, uh, be cautious of, you know, that 301, that permanent redirect, because then that can complicate things, you know, later on, which is quite a bit out of the scope of this video here. But once we have that, we're just going to pass in a string and then we're going to, uh, type out the path. So maybe we want to just redirect to slash blog, something like this. Okay, and so you have all of these at your disposal inside at sveltkit.js slash kit. If you're using, if you're using uh, TypeScript, you're going to get some really good, um, you know, autocomplete there. So you may not have to worry about where exactly it's imported from, but just, you know, keep that in mind. And so this is how we're going to create API routes in, in SvelteKit. It's really easy. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.